good morning children now in the last period we were discussing about the methods of irrigation in that we studied about the traditional method today we are going to study about the modern method of irrigation modern methods of irrigation in that the first one is the sprinkler system right now what is the sprinkler system sometimes you must have gone to to different gardens or some temples where there are where there is a big uh, ground full of greenery lawns then you must have seen small small sprinklers placed in the ground and when Uh, when the tap or whatever uh, water resources uh, is connected when that is open it sprinkles the water like this way have you ever seen that right so this is um, you know getting uh, connected to the sprinkler system right so sprinkling means udalo chhatu that is called sprinkling so let us see how the sprinkler system the farmer uses in his farm This system is more useful on an uneven land where sufficient water is not available. The perpendicular pipes have rotating nozzles on the top and join to the main pipeline at regular intervals. When water is allowed to flow through the main pipe under pressure, it escapes from the nozzles and it gets sprinkled on the crop and if it is ready, as if it is ready. Sprinkle is very useful for lawns, coffee plantations, and several other crops. I said. So what happens to them? There is a main pipe, and the main pipe is attached to different nozzles which are kept near the crops. And when the water is released from the main pipe, what happens? It is released with pressure. So due to pressure, the water is sprinkled out from the nozzles. right the nozzles which are attached or which are kept near the crops so in this way the water gets sprinkled as if it is raining right so this is one system where sprinkler method is used and it is used where the land is uneven where the land is uneven and less amount of water less amount of water what is the meaning of uneven uneven land uneven land means where the land is at some point of time it is high then again it will go down fine it is not in a leveled form so in that type of areas sprinkler system is used and where the availability of water is less there the sprinkler system is used okay then the next is drip irrigation or the drip system now what is the meaning of drip sprinkler means chhatu drip means just it goes drop by drop drop by drop sometimes you must have observed at your houses if the tap if the visor in the tap is uh, broken or if there is some problem in the visor what happens even if you close the tap what happens drop by drop drop by drop there is leakage fine in drip irrigation system also what happens that there is the pipes with holes at regular intervals are arranged near the crops okay and then what happens is that when the water is released then what happens water is released and wherever there are holes the water gets dropped there near the plant fine so continuously drop by drop drop by drop drop by drop the water goes slowly and steadily near the roots of the plant and in this way the plant gets watered right but we have to keep in mind that the the, the tube or the pipe that we arrange should be in such a way that wherever there is a hole in the pipe right it should be near the plant fine if the plant is over here fine and this is the pipe okay now here at regular intervals there are plants the farmer has grown at regular intervals 
Now suppose this is the pipe, then the farmer has to see that the holes on the pipe should be placed near the plants. Then only it will be useful. If the pipe is placed in such a way that the holes are somewhere over here, then it is useless. Water will keep on coming up over here. But here there is no plant. Fine. Here there is no plant. So this water is going to be a wastage. Fine. So when you are arranging, when the farmer arranges the pipes, right, then he has to take care that wherever there is a plant, Right? Or the plant and the hole in the pipe should be very near to each other. Then only the water from the uh, hole can reach to the plant. Okay? So this is one way of drip irrigation. And usually this drip irrigation method is used where there is scarcity of water. Where there is less water. Because children you can see that drop by drop, drop by drop means very less water is used. There is no wastage of water. Right? So drip irrigation system can be used in the areas where there is scarcity of water. Now let us see. In this system the water drops, water falls drop by drop directly near the roots. So it is called the drip system. It is the best technique for watering fruit plants, gardens and trees. Water is not wasted at all. As I told you that there is no wastage of water because slowly slowly drop by drop the water is going into the roots. It is a bone in the regions where availability of water is poor. Bone means vardan, right? Where water is very less, farmers do not have water, enough water for irrigation. He can use this system so that even water also is used judiciously and the crops also get the water and he gets a very good production, right? So this was about the sprinkler system and the drip system. Is that clear? Okay. So this was about the irrigation. Now the next agricultural technique that we will be studying is protection of weeds. Now what is the meaning of weeds? First of all we should know what is the meaning of weeds and then we go to the, uh, to the topic that protection of weeds. Now what are weeds? Weeds are the unwanted plants which grows along with along with the main crop which grows along with the main crop. So protection of weeds. So first we should know what is weeds. So weeds means they are the unwanted plants. Unwanted means we don't need it. They are growing by themselves. They are growing by themselves along with the main crop. So we need to remove these unwanted plants. Why we should remove these unwanted plants? What, what, is, what harm does they, they cause? So we should remove these unwanted plants because the farmer, whatever he is giving to the main crop, right? Half of it, these unwanted plants will take away. They are of no use, right? So they need to be removed. These unwanted plants, they need to be removed so that whatever manure or fertilizer or watering or whatever the care that farmer is taking for the crop or whatever nutrition the farmer is giving to its main crop is not getting distributed. Otherwise what will happen that if he puts manure then what will happen the nutrition of the manure little the main crop will take and little the unwanted plants will take. So the production will not come to the expected level. So, unwanted plants should be removed so that manure and fertilizer which the farmer is giving to the plants is fully gone or fully absorbed and taken by the main crop so as to get the very good production or very good yield. Is that clear? Okay, so I have given you an overall idea about weeds and why this protection of weeds is needed. From in the next period, we will study 
from page number 10. Okay, children? Thank you. Have a nice day.